But first, in the race to treat and prevent COVID-19, some California researchers are working on a spray that acts like biological PPE. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. They are doing it by borrowing a defense mechanism from an unlikely source, llamas. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why the key may be beneath all that fur. Catching a llama can take a really long time, but we may not be far off from leveraging a llama's immune system to prevent people from catching COVID-19. Not everybody uh, has or wants to work with a llama. Uh, we think that working with yeast in a test tube is somewhat easier. Michael Schuf is a graduate student at UC San Francisco. He's leading a team of scientists who are working on a once a day spray treatment they call AeroNabs using a molecule they engineered. We don't know how effective uh, vaccines will be. We don't know how long it will take to rapidly deploy them. So we envision this product as hopefully a bridge until there is widespread effective vaccination. Their approach is similar to convalescent plasma, which contains antibodies from recovered patients. But instead of human antibodies, they started with nanobodies, tiny immune proteins discovered in the late 1980s that are found naturally in llamas, camels, and alpacas. They're one-tenth the size of antibodies, so they're easier to work with. And the team at UCSF engineered them with yeast to fit the coronavirus. You can make something that binds um, very tightly uh, and acts in the same way that an antibody does, but it's much more stable. It can be produced in a much cheaper manner. Here's how it all works inside the body. Think of it like a lock and a key. The spike proteins on the coronavirus act like a key that unlocks the door to your cells. Once inside, the virus can replicate. Nanobodies stick to the spike proteins like duct tape on a key. So the key doesn't fit into the lock anymore and the virus can't get in. We have not administered this to patients. This works in the lab. It needs to be translated into the clinic. The team at UCSF needs to figure out the best delivery method, whether it's a nebulizer, an inhaler, or a nasal spray. But they say it'll be much simpler than convalescent plasma, which requires a transfusion in a hospital. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Now, because they are so new, there's only one drug on the market that uses the nanobodies. That drug got FDA approval last year.